हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम रेनू अरोरा फॉर्मर हेड एजुकेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग डिवीजन सी एस आई आर निस्केयर न्यू डेली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल डॉक्यूमेंट्री रिसोर्स ऑफ पब्लिक लाइब्रेरीज दिस इज अंडर द पेपर पब्लिक लाइब्रेरीज लाइब्रेरीज मेटीरियल सर्व एज an important resource in the education professional activities and recreations of the members of our society each type of user may it be a student a researcher professional or may be an industrial worker required documents for carrying out his or her work libraries therefore exist to satisfy the information requirements of these users by supplying different categories of library material in this module we will discuss the categories of library material required by public libraries let us now examine what are the objectives of this particular module firstly we will know the types of material required for public libraries in fact we require a variety of material in public libraries then we will be listing the various print as well as non print material available in the libraries we will then describe the kind of books required by various age groups because public library has a diversity of users of different age groups so kind of books required also varies then we will explain the role of non print material in modern libraries and also learn about the electronic library material which is the need of the hour in the present day times documentary resources of public libraries libraries material serves as an important resource in the education professional activities and recreation of the members of our society users of public libraries require documents for carrying out their work public libraries satisfy the information needs of these users by supplying different types of library material the public library has to meet the needs and interests of the community for this it provides a wide range of materials in a variety of formats and in sufficient quantity the culture of the local community and society must be reflected in the documentary sources of the library public libraries must keep abreast of new formats and new methods of accessing information as the primary goal of every library is to aid all users in their quest for knowledge an excellent collection of documents is thus required for all library services students as you are already aware we have a variety of sources available in libraries these are documentary sources or non documentary sources in this module we are discussing the documentary sources of public libraries the documentary sources of a public library are available in a variety of forms which could be print material or non print material the print material is available in variety of forms and formats this could be books reference books periodicals and magazines newspapers maps reports etc let us explain briefly what these print materials are books are basically the old traditional form of documents and from a very very long time libraries have been making use of books books are available in all forms sizes etc and for all categories of users then we have the reference books as the name says reference books reference books are meant only for reference purpose and these are placed in the libraries and are not meant for home reading then the periodicals or the magazines periodicals are also referred to as journals 
and these are being published at regular interval. Public libraries usually have more dependence on magazines because of the kind of readers who are coming to the public libraries. So magazines usually can be in specific areas or of general or popular interest to the users. Then newspapers in all forms are available in public libraries. Usually these are the daily newspapers or these could be tabloids or it could be weekly newspapers. Then at maps or atlases are another kind of documentary sources. Maps can be in the form of large reference books or these could be in the form of large display put on walls etc. Besides this libraries have reports. Reports could be annual reports, reports of other organizations or reports of interest to the users of the particular library. Books. A book is defined as a written or printed literary work which is separately published and has an independent physical existence. With pages fastened along one side and encased between protective covers. In many libraries, books are referred to as monographs. The public libraries provide books on various subjects for users having varied interest and of all age groups. A book is a document that normally deals with a particular subject having continuous thought content. Many books have a protective cover. Books are reasonably inexpensive and convenient to store, transport and find knowledge and information. The book thus ranks as one of the humanity's greatest inventions. People have used books in the same form for over 5000 years. Although most books in libraries are usually bound with hard covers, paperbacks are also becoming popular now. A book can be simple or composite, single volumed or multi volumed. It can also be a general book, a textbook, or a reference book. Besides this, libraries have books that are fiction or non fiction. Let's take a look at various categories of books. We can have the different categories of books according to the age books or their form. For example, books for adults, books for students, books for children and textbooks. Adult users usually require non-fiction on subjects of local national, international and current interest. Those wanting to enhance their knowledge may read books related to new discoveries, processes, techniques or technologies. On the other hand, many may require books on current topics, local history, standard works, literature and languages or guide books and manuals. Books for students the student users require books related to their studies which may be science, social sciences and arts and humanities. But most of the students want only help books or reference books or books which can guide them for a career. Books for children. Public libraries are mostly used for and are very popular with children users. Many of the public libraries have a separate children section with specifically designed reading area and bookshelves for children. The books for smaller children are thicker in repeat. The books for smaller children are having with thick pages and bold print and with color plates. This is to attract children to read books. And another category of books that is textbooks. Textbooks are books of a particular subject. These are to help the student users in their subject area. Reference books. 
reference book is a book meant only to be consulted or referred to for some specific piece of information. Reference books help library users to find answers to questions. These cannot be issued and taken home. These books are found in the special reference section or near the reference desk. In other words, these books are kept in the library only for reference purpose. Public libraries acquire specially designed reference books like dictionaries, encyclopedias, atlases, etc. for younger reader. Books such as dictionaries, encyclopedias, gazetteers, yearbooks, directories, indexes, concordances, atlases, etc. are compiled to pump. Repeat. Books such as dictionaries, encyclopedias, gazetteers, yearbooks, directories, indexes, atlases, etc. are compiled to provide definite pieces of information or varying extent. These are intended to be referred to rather than read through. That is why they are given the name reference books. Periodicals A periodical is a publication with a distinct title which appears at stated or regular intervals without prior decision as to when the last issue shall appear. It contains articles, editorials, features, columns, stories or other writings by several contributors. The periodicals are important sources for current information on any subject. Periodicals are also referred to as serials or journals and magazines are the most typical type of periodicals. Their each issue starts at page 1 but they are not academic or professional publications. They are for general reading, quick information or entertainment frequently containing advertising for consumer products. Newspapers A newspaper is a scheduled publication containing news of current events, informative articles, diverse features, editorials and advertising. It usually is printed on relatively inexpensive low-grade paper known as the newsprint. Most of the public libraries are used only for their newspaper collection, especially by the senior citizens of the locality of the library. Newspapers are a publication issued periodically, which are usually daily or weekly containing most recent news. Newspapers thus provide an excellent means of keeping well informed on current events. They also play a vital role in shaping of the public opinion. Many of the newspapers contain some supplements. These supplements carry highly informative information. For example, the Economic Times newspaper carries a supplement called Brand Equity, which gives details about the new brands or new consumer products that have been launched. We have already examined the print material of a public library. Let us now see the importance of non-print material in public libraries. Non-print materials are defined as any material pertaining to or consisting of other than the printed matter. In fact, nowadays, a lot of material is coming in the non-print format. We have material available online or in the electronic form. This material is rapidly becoming important information and learning resource material for the modern libraries. The types of non-print material acquired by public libraries are audiovisual material and electronic material. There is a lot of importance of audiovisual material or electronic material in the sense that producing it or making it available to masses is really feasible. Distribution of print material takes lot of effort, also duplication of print material requires lot of efforts 
So therefore, audiovisual material is very quickly distributed to users and it makes more impact on users. The electronic material is available from the internet or from the databases or it can also be available directly online from several places. Newspapers nowadays are also available electronically and these are giving the latest information on any topic or any incident or any other material. Audiovisual material. Audiovisual material is a generic term to describe information content held in storage and transmission media and formats that use images and sounds rather than or sometimes in addition to textual matter. These materials also called instructional media materials are educational aids that work primarily through the senses especially hearing and seeing. The audiovisual material includes motion picture films, microforms, CD-ROMs, DVDs, photographs. Let's take a look at some of the details. Motion picture films. A film also called a movie or motion picture film is a series of still or moving images. It is produced by recording photographic images with cameras or by creating images using animation techniques or visual effects. Microforms. Microforms, either films or papers, contain micro reproduction of documents for transmission, storage, reading, and printing. Microform images are commonly reduced to about 1 25th of the original document size. With <coughs> repeat, with advancements in computer technology, especially digitization of materials, the process of producing and using microforms has undergone tremendous changes. Presently, documents are scanned and stored electronically. CD-ROMs A CD-ROM, which is an acronym of Compact Disc Read-Only Memory, is a pre-pressed compact disc that contains data accessible to a computer for data storage, music playback and videos. Discs are made from a 1.2 mm thick disc of polycarbonate plastic with a thin layer of aluminum to make a reflective surface. DVDs DVDs stand for Digital Versatile Video Disc. DVD stands for Digital Versatile Video Disc. DVD is an optical disc storage format which has higher storage capacity than compact discs while having the same dimensions. DVDs have been adopted by movies and home entertainment distributors and have replaced video cassettes and CDs. Presently, HD DVD and Blu-ray disc are successor to the DVD. A dual-ray HD DVD can store up to 30 GB and a dual-ray Blu-ray disc can hold up to 50 GB of data. The DVDs can be used to play audio and video on a computer system or a DVD player. Next is photographs and drawings. These include illustrations from books, periodicals, newspapers and at times pictures produced by commercial companies. The photographs can be scanned with the help of scanners and used at suitable places with various texts. The drawings on the other hand can be drawn on computer with the help of a DTP package and used suitably. Students, as you have already been told, plenty of material nowadays is produced electronically. The electronically available material is usually referred to as re-resources. The other documentary material is called resources of the library and whatever is electronically produced is referred to as e-resources. This can be in the form of e-books. Instead of published or printed books, we have nowadays e-books or electronic books. 
electronic book can be read on a handheld device or even on your mobile phones you can read an e-book nowadays then we have the e-journals e-journals are really very important and they are now capturing the user market lot of journals are coming in the electronic format because the published journal requires lot of effort in distribution and there is time lag also when we use the e journals time limit is reduced and immediately soon after a journal is brought out it is made available to the users then there are the electronic database popularly referred to as e databases so database is basically a collection of material on a topic or on a subject and database on one place in electronic form is really very very useful for specialized users then we have just like the e journals we have the e magazines which are also called e zines then there are e images that is electronic images the image could be transported and brought out in electronic form for a users then there is electronic audio electronic audio has lot of clarity and therefore it is very useful for modern day users then there are digital library projects the digital library projects basically are useful for modern day users of course for the public libraries these may not have much use as of now but in large public libraries the digital library projects have a lot of use then there are the electronic exhibitions instead of a physical exhibition which is held on a place and a user has to visit the place to see the exhibition electronically a user can see the exhibition while sitting at own computer or laptop etc then there are electronic newsletters electronic newsletters are becoming very popular nowadays especially with commercial aspects for any product or any activity or any service nowadays organizations they bring out electronic newsletters the main benefit of electronic newsletters is that in a go it can suddenly be sent to thousands of users all over the globe otherwise the printed newsletters would take a very long time and lot of money expense and effort is also required and lastly the e conference proceedings nowadays while the conference is being carried out it can be done through satellite and people can see it live but then with regard to the proceedings of the conference that can be made available soon after one conference session is over and it can be sent to the user or user can have access to it immediately e books or electronic books an electronic book also referred to as e book digital book or even e edition is a book length publication in digital form it consists of text images or both and produced published and readable on computers or other electronic devices sometimes the equivalent of a conventional printed book is also available as an ebook ebooks are usually read on dedicated ebook readers personal computers laptops and some mobile phones can also be used to read ebooks for example a very popular ebook reader is amazon's kindle kindle can be used as a book store by itself books can be downloaded or by purchase or many books are free from kindle and these can be read whenever users require it besides this on apple's ipad also ebooks can be downloaded from the apple store and can be read whenever the users want them benefits of ebooks some benefits of ebooks over printed books are immediately accessible no waiting for delivery searchable most can be earmarked easily portable than heavy printed books and besides this multiple users have access to the same ebook 
In fact, we can store a whole library of ebooks on our desktop, laptop, or a handheld device while moving about or traveling. A whole range of reference sources too are accessible electronically. E journals. Electronic journals, also known as e journals or electronic serials, are scholarly journals that can be accessed via electronic transmission. This means that these are usually published on the web. They are specialized form of electronic documents with the purpose of providing material for academic research and study. The e journals are formatted just like journal articles in traditional printed journals. Some electronic journals are online only journals, some are online version of printed journals and some consist of the online equivalent of a printed journal. Most commercial e-journals are subscription based and allow pay per view access. An increasing number of journals are now available online as open access journals requiring no subscription and offering free full text articles. E-journals however have more use in academic and special libraries as these are usually used by scholarly users. Other material. Besides the print and the non-print material, there is other material also available in public libraries. These are pamphlets, posters, maps, globes and charts, and special collection. The other material in the library also includes standards, patents, pamphlets, reports, dissertation and thesis, etc. The public libraries, however, require only the material that is often required by their users. In addition to this, the rare book collection can also be part of the other material category. Special collection. We have already seen the various categories of material acquired by the public libraries. And lastly, we will take a look at the special collection which is housed as part of the documentary resources of public libraries. These are rare book collection. Here the rare books are collected. Rare books are books which are no more in print available with great difficulty. Then manuscripts and archives, photograph collection, old reference material. An example of old reference material is Encyclopedia Britannica. Although newer and newer editions of Encyclopedia are now available, but the older editions of Encyclopedia Britannica are still very much in use due to the valuable articles being carried out by them. Then literature and classic works in various languages. In libraries which deal with vernacular languages, the old literature and classical works form part of the special collection. And lastly, stamp collection. Many libraries, they do specialize in collecting stamps from very, very old times and they put them on display for the users on rare occasions. Public libraries, they serve a variety of functions in this manner and in addition to providing access to free quality information, they also maintain the special collection which is not open to general public which is kept usually under lock and key and is brought out only on very special occasions. We have already seen the documentary sources of information in public libraries. We have seen the printed and non-printed resources. To conclude, let's see what we have learnt in this particular module. We have learnt the various documentary sources of information in public libraries. The documentary sources are in print and non-print form. The printed resources are available as books, reference books, periodicals, magazines or journals, newspapers, maps, atlases and reports 
etc. On the other hand, the non-printed resources are in the form of audiovisuals and electronic material. We have seen that electronic material is of utmost importance in the times to come. And lastly, we have seen the special collection which is available in public libraries. The special collection is available as rare book collection. Rare books are basically those books which have gone out of print or which are specially published for a certain purpose. Then we have seen manuscripts and archives are another category of special collection. Old photographs then old reference material for example although the encyclopedia britannica is being published regularly but the older versions older editions of the encyclopedia have still a lasting value then literature and classic works in various languages and the stamp collection in many public libraries many large public libraries they specialize in having special type of collection Besides this, many individuals, they may donate their special collection or special documents to public libraries, which will also be categorized as special collection in public libraries. Thank you.